Welcome back to the Casual Armory. It's been a couple of weeks, and it's not been a fun couple of weeks. Uh, a few weeks ago, I pulled my back really bad and knocked me out for a couple of days. As soon as that healed, I spun right into a nasty uh, COVID infection, which was not fun at all. But I seem to be back and ready to get back to it. So today we're going to do a nice little video getting ready for a range day. And one thing that is often overlooked and it never really should be is how do you package everything and what do you need to take to the range? Well, this is what I do. I've got a good range bag. It's a Cabela's brand bag and let's get into a few things that I think are a necessity when going to the range. First off, in this top pocket, got a military style screwdriver. It's got two ends on it and it works for just about any type of old military bolt action type rifle and that works really good if you need to take it apart. Also, generic pocket knife, nothing too special there. And a good luck Bigfoot toy. Yep. Well, inside the main bag, at the bottom, what we've got is a full cleaning kit. Now, I wouldn't be cleaning a gun at the range unless there was something going on and it required taking it apart and lubricating it. But something that does happen with a good regularity is a stuck case when people use cheap steel case ammunition. And it seems to happen all too often. And having a set of rods that uh, will build out long enough to poke a steel case out is a good thing to have plus good assortment of a little bit of everything for cleaning and i just keep that right in my range bag and that goes to the bottom and it sits down low enough this center area works out great for boxes of ammunition if i want to take a pistol or two works out really really nice and it all folds up so that's what the main pocket is we go over to this side something that you should always have on hand is a good good little kit of gun tools screwdrivers specifically they are not the same as a regular tool kit. So it's good to have just a quick little tool kit on hand in case anybody is in need. They're inexpensive. I think I paid about $20 for that. And that works good right in the side pocket. Over on the other side, I've got a little gunsmithing torque wrench for torquing down the action itself into the stock and it's good to have uh, for precision rifles so that in the other side in the front pocket a good staple gun and some staples for stapling up targets that is a necessity. You don't want to run out of those. So, this is my basic range bag. And I take this each time I go up to the range. We're planning a range day here probably next week. And really hope to get some footage of that and take some fun rifles out and get a good day of therapy in. So, 
Next, we'll talk about the targets. So, here's my target book. And it is just a heavy-duty, eh, cheap leather, three-ring binder that zips up nice and tight. Now, what I started doing many, many years ago is making my own targets. And all over the internet, you can find PDF files of all different targets, anything you can imagine. And I print them out, and it makes good range day targets. When you're not competing and you don't need anything, when you're just out practicing, I find this to be the best and probably least expensive, but it does use a lot of ink. Now, on the flip side to that, I also use heavier cardstock paper. So the targets seem to hold up a lot better. And a regular printer hooked up to your computer will print these out with no problem at all. And the, and the cardstock paper is just, I think it's much, much better than just regular paper. But I have used regular paper and it does work. So, uh, these are the targets that I usually go up with. Um, I generally don't like buying targets just because the cost of them just is fairly expensive. And you can get, you can find all different types of targets online. Games, uh, if you want to do pistol shooting games. There's some pretty interesting targets to be found online. So, that pretty much is going to be it for today. Like I said, we're going to prepare to get uh, a range trip in. This week I should be getting two or three rifles back from the gunsmith. And... We'll keep on building rifles and taking them out to the range to test them out. So, see you on the next video.